Hello and welcome to this uh, one tutorial. My name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install the MySQL server and any other MySQL um, things which you need and then also um, configure it provide a, um, to, to set the root user um, password then to access the one MySQL server learn how to um, log in and stuff and that's about it. Uh, I'm going to make some other tutorials as well uh, about the different things which you need to do. Um, restoring um, the root password if you've forgotten it, um, adding users, adding databases, selecting insert, update, delete um, and so on. But this is the first one, most important one, get it installed. So I'm running uh, CentOS um, 6.3 at the moment on Linux um, and I'm I mean to be quite honest with you this is just the installation of MySQL on Linux um, but the commands which you need uh, for MySQL can be are all the same regardless whether you're on um, Windows or, or whether you're on Linux and so on so the most important thing is getting it installed and safe and configured first of all now for the sake of purposes this is for people that are using Linux therefore let's continue shall we so what do we need first of all first thing is we need to uh, potentially download and install it you need to be uh, the root uh, user first of all if you don't know how to um, be the root you need to know the root password as well just give the command su dash or space then dash it'll ask you for the password and then you'll be logged in and you'll get the same screen as me obviously this won't be the same okay so yum install mysql and then mysql dash server that'll be enough press enter it will go through install a couple of things a couple of dependencies and then it will ask you do you want to install it so is this okay yes it is press enter it'll go ahead and download four packages and then install them it won't take long I, I don't even need to pause this video let's just let it go through and it will nearly be done okay nearly there and it's done so let's just clear the screen by pressing Control L now the first thing uh, which we should do uh, prior to doing anything with the MySQL server is make certain that the MySQL server starts every single time the server starts and if it crashes we know that when it comes back up again the MySQL server starts this is hugely important for a web server and for any other um, servers out there that require this one server or this one MySQL server um, for data so we use the uh, check uh, config and then mysql d and then we just use the the dash dash l to list out I mean we know we've just installed it so it's not going to have an entry in there uh, so we need to set it on 3 4 and 5 and we could just issue the same command and then just say on and then issue the list command again we can see it's now on now we don't have to worry about if the mysql is going to start when the server starts we know it's done most important thing okay so next thing is to actually start the MySQL service because on CentOS it isn't automatically started upon installation so let's just say service MySQL D starts this will go through a couple of checks and it's going to give you some information once it's done we get the OK down here as well so let's just wait till it's completely done I would really uh, advise for you to read all of this uh, the most important thing for us to read for now is this okay please remember to set a password for the MySQL root user exclamation mark to do so start the server then issue the following commands okay don't issue these commands because firstly you have to uh, type in your password into the terminal and that's not something which you want to do this password will then be saved in a file of a dot um, well your, your bash profile sorry so we don't want to do this whatsoever we don't want that password being displayed or saved anywhere so let's not do that one now there's another method to do it but let's not do it shall we um, let's stick to this one because it's got this handy little word in the name saying secure um, this will then prompt you for the password and that password will not get saved anywhere else but in the MySQL database itself which is the place where we want it to be saved okay so without further ado let's just clear the screen and the command is user or USR and then bin and then MySQL secure installation so let's the, give the command okay as you can see here um, it's asking us to enter the current uh, password for root now as we don't have one um, at the moment we can just press enter let me just clarify this for now 
we're logged in as the root user on our Linux machine. The password which it's asking for is the root user for the MySQL server and not for this machine. So please don't confuse the two. It's the root user for the MySQL server and not for this one machine. They just happen to have the same name. Now we know because this is a fresh installation that there's no password for the root user. Now point to note as well if you have already installed MySQL and you didn't do any cleanup of deleting any MySQL files then you will already have a root user password saved with inside of your uh, MySQL table or with inside of the user table of the MySQL database because when you deinstall the MySQL server those databases are not deinstalled or they're not removed they're still there therefore when you do a new installation it will read off of those databases still therefore um, you can use the restore root password um, option it's not actually an option it's a, a way of doing it um, I'm going to do a video tutorial straight after this of how to do it so um, if that is the problem and when you do t if you press enter here you should get everything okay like this okay successfully use password if you're getting an error here right now then um, see the link that's going to be up on the screen right now to see the restore um, root password go and watch that video because I'm going to show you how to do this first of all so you can then get access to your MySQL server okay so that's the important thing um, if you've got everything like I've got it right now then we need to continue so set root password as we can see here set root password and we want to say yes uh, of course we want to set one because that's the last thing we want is that the root user is able to log into the server or to the MySQL server without a password so let's say yes and now you can provide a password nice and securely okay without anyone looking over your shoulder into the database right remove anonymous users at this one point in time we only want a root a root user on there we don't want any anonymous users whatsoever okay so let's say yes disallow root login remotely yes we want that we only want you to be able to log into this one MySQL server when you're actually sat at this one machine okay so let's say yes remove test database and access to it yep let's get rid of any junk that we don't need okay reload privileges table now yep let's do that done finished okay now we know that MySQL server installed root password sets the MySQL server is going to start when the server itself starts or crashes and restarts uh, and so on and that um, root cannot access the server remotely okay so now let's just um, show you the dummies guide of how to log in uh, as the root user onto the MySQL server using the terminal so let's issue the command MySQL. Now there's three switches which are relevant at the moment to this and I'm just going to put them all out. We have the dash U, the dash H, the dash P. Now U stands for username, H is for host and P is for password. Now we don't have to supply the U and the H when we're logged in as the exact user which we want to log into the MySQL database with. Now we know that there's a, a root user on the MySQL server therefore we can leave out the dash u because it's going to automatically use our username if we didn't supply a dash u to send to the MySQL server to connect with now once again the dash h is going to automatically use localhost if we don't supply a dash h okay so we don't even need to supply that now we have to supply a dash p because we've said that the root user can only access the MySQL server with a password okay therefore we have to supply the dash P and for the sake and purposes of just showing you um, how to do this otherwise okay it's going to say access denied for root at localhost using password no because we've um, we've made sure that the the root user can only access it using a password therefore we have to supply the dash P switch when we do supply it we then get the enter password prompts we enter the password which we gave um, during the mysql underscore uh, underscore secure underscore installation press enter and then we get the welcome to the mysql monitor blah de blah de blah that's successfully logged in um, for the time being now the one thing i do want to show you is inside of the mysql dot user uh, table 
uh, which entries are in there. So let's just press Control L to clear the screen, and we're just going to say select host user from MySQL database, and then the user table, and press Enter. Now we know there's only two users in there, therefore I don't need to say from uh, who. As you can see here, the two users one has is at the host of 127.0.0.1 and the other one's at local host. So if we wanted to have a root user which could use the IP address of this one machine to log in, then we would then have to add another user into the uh, MySQL uh, users table in the MySQL database. Um, potentially there's never um, like one user with multiple logins it's a different user for every single host. Now you could use the wildcard um, but I wouldn't advise that with the the root. I mean I wouldn't advise that with any of the users specifically. It's far better to uh, make every single user have a separate login for every single domain. Okay, It just keeps that another level of security there. It might be a little bit more messing around but sometimes messing around and security they go hand in hand with each other. That's basically it for now. You should be able to access the MySQL database, it's installed and so on. So I'm going to leave the other tutorials or leave the other um, pieces of information which I want to tell you for other tutorials. Okay. I hope you've learned something. My name is David Thorne. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment on the um, tutorial if you liked it, disliked it, anything you didn't understand, anything more that I could do for you. Okay. Subscribe if you want to, like it if you want to everything that is there which you want to do okay I hope to see you in the other tutorials I do plan on doing more tutorials today um, so if you are um, watching this on the 6th of March 2013 then there hopefully should be a whole list of tutorials coming in today if not then just have a nice day alright okay that's it thanks very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>